Hi, my name is Matt Nguyen, and today I will be analyzing an excerpt from the stick scene from Mirari. In the very first shot of the scene here, we see Jacob and Monica. Jacob sits on the floor centered, while we see Monica on his left raised slightly higher, leaving an unbalanced and empty space on the right side of the frame as if it were a space that was left for grandma. The arrangement seems to mimic the structure of some type of council. One who has to make harsh decisions, as Monica doesn't carry a proud look on her face. We are then countered with the reverse shot that shows David sitting alone all by himself, centered in the middle of the frame. Not saying a single word, he gets up to leave the frame, but the static shot is important in establishing the next shot that grandma isn't completely on David's side, but another player in this scene. We then cut to grandma, but we are softly following David in the background, showing just a slight togetherness until he falls. When David falls, all grandma does is turn around but doesn't go to help David. She could easily be an overbearingly sweet grandmother and go help her grandson up from falling, but her isolation through shots shows how much of a morally ambiguous character she is. The reaction shot of the parents contains very subtle details. They both show concern for David, and Monica even leans in. But neither of them bother to get up or ask him if he's okay, keeping this stoic parental council energy. It's clear to see that the grandma is somewhat fearful and afraid to get involved with Jacob and Monica's family. When we return to the Council of Parents, we see on Jacob's face a look of disappointment, but it doesn't seem to be directed at David. The way Jacob subtly looks up and his small sigh makes it seem like he's disappointed in himself and the decisions he will have to make in a self-righteous way. David then shows his father the broken stick, and at this point we can see the background mise-en-scene for David is usually more cluttered and messy compared to the background for the parents where they get a very minimalistic and cleaner look. We then get another appalled look from grandma, her head perfectly fitting between the doorway, symbolizing her close-mindedness. The final shot of the excerpt ends on the council shot. We can see that Monica is not proud of what they have done and looks the other way while Jacob sits firmly right under a picture of Jesus and his lambs. This imagery has been there the whole scene, but this is the first time that it is more in focus. When Koreans came over to America, a lot of them found solace in going to church and Christianity, which explains the picture in this room. Although the way that Jacob sits firmly in the middle of it symbolizes his actions and how he feels. The lambs in the image are important as well as it brings up the idea that Jesus is the Lamb of God, in which in John chapter 1 verse 36 states, Behold the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world, and also refers to him as the perfect and ultimate sacrifice for sin. You can see through his steadfast stance that this is the role he has taken within his family. This scene really sets the tone for the family dynamic for the rest of the film. We can see that Monica doesn't completely agree with Jacob, which reflects their turmoil throughout the movie. Thanks for coming to my TED talk.